Today we're taking you to Higby, Missouri, where three generations of Coopers have been making Missouri oak barrels for 40 years. You take it from the log all the way through to yeah. the bottle. My so father and another guy actually go out and do the logging, bring the logs in. Uh, we have a sawmill here on the site too. Uh, we age the wood for a couple years before we even uh, think about putting it in a barrel. You know, you've got to make sure that these boards are free of any defects, knots, sap, anything that will uh, not that will leak or make the wine taste bad. Mm -hmm. Each board's looked over 20 to 30 times before it gets to that barrel. Then we start putting it through the planers, grading them, um, kind of putting a little bit of curve to the to the, to the board. Mm -hmm. Then it'll run through a machine called a joiner, which will put a double arch on both sides, which we adjust that for the size of the barrel. And then once it's set up into the barrel form after we've jointed it, it goes to the fire, it warms for 20 to 30 minutes. We want to get the inside and outside really hot so it makes that wood pliable and it bends. Okay. And then, uh, then he'll start putting rings around it, get it leveled out, and he'll put it back on the fire, and then he'll put the toasting, uh, depending on what the winemaker wants. Now, those whiskey barrels, they get an alligator char. They I mean, get, it's they get like... charred black as can be. Yeah, we call that an alligator toast. But, um, but the wine barrels, you can request light, medium, yes. or dark yes. toast. Yes, yes. It's just whatever the winemaker wants. Well, let's, uh, let's take a tour of the, of the facility itself okay. and kind of get in there and see what the guys are up to. Okay. Those are great chairs. They look really comfortable. Right. They're okay. very comfortable. Now all I need is a glass of your wine, and then I'm, uh, I'm he set. Hasn't, he hasn't cut the... He'll cut a holder in it right here. Oh, they will? So you can hold your glass. <laughs> That's awesome. My father's right in here cutting this wood, and he's looking to make sure there's no knots in it, no sap in it, uh, you know, anything that's going to be defective for that barrel. Basically what they'll do is they'll put it up on here, set it up, and they'd use these boards that make it sit still, run it down there, and they'll cut it into quarters. This is actually a piece of heading, but this is set out here for two to three years. And all these stacks uh, are marked and tagged. We know how much wood's in them. We know how many heads they're going to make, how many barrels they're going to make. Mm -hmm. These are all stacked a certain way, so the rain will drip down it. Okay. You, so you can see they're angled. Mm -hmm. Some of them have fallen, but they're angled so the rain will drop off of it because if the rain sits on it, it's going to rot it. So these are relatively new. Yeah, this is this is what it looked just like that, but this has been run through the planer. And we run it through the planer again so we can see where the defects are at. I see. I always, I always try to get them to market. How long is it going to take to um, make a good bottle of wine? What would you say? To make a good bottle of wine? Yeah. Six, seven years? Uh, over a hundred because you've got to add in the agent of the tree. <laughs> so it's a long process that's going. To make that one good bottle of wine, you've got to have good wood, you've got to have good grapes, you've got to have somebody who knows what they're doing uh, on both sides of the forest, the vineyard. It's important. So these have already been toasted? Yeah, yeah, these have been toasted. They just uh, been crows, they put the heads in them, and uh, now he's tightening them up and he's gonna test them. Being able to create an artisan product mm -hmm. that is the highest quality you can possibly produce from the very beginning to the very end, you don't see that very much anymore. People say that things aren't made here anymore, but they they really are, and you guys are you yeah. guys are part of that. But also you're creating a product that benefits the entire wine industry. It benefits that, it benefits the community, it benefits uh, the economy around here, yeah. uh, and we do take a lot of pride in what we do. When you get to work with your dad? Yeah, I worked with my dad, I worked with him and my grandpa for years, and now I'm working with him, I'm working with my son in the summer. It's, uh, I mean, you can't ask for anything better than this.